Hello, everybody, and welcome to Derail. <laughs> it's definitely not that. <laughs> Checking to make sure it was good to go. It is. And make it public. There we go. Awesome. Nothing to do with no bowling. What's up, Alex? How you doing tonight, dude? Good to see you. Good to see you. But of course, but of course. Really, they don't have a. Seems Derail Valley had a. They do. It's at Derail Valley, I guess, but I don't think it's. Tr Is that real? Let's see if they have a Twitter account. Looks like it is. Yep, it definitely is. Sweet. Just doing a little uh little housekeeping tour here. And then we'll get started. There we go. What's up everybody? How you doing tonight? What is going on? Yeah, we don't use face cam on. These streams. Night Owl 296, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How you doing? Nated. Over the 18 months. Good evening to you. How are we doing, y'all? You notice there's something different about Kathy. What is it? What could that be? What has changed in Kathy's life? Hard to say. Bronco Kathy is the best Kathy. If you ask me. What's our uh, audio output looking like here? Oh, wait, no change anything we can talk about there we go make sure it's a little a little more up to open this up oh it closes behind you every time yeah you can't you gotta drive through it no matter what you do damn that dude went straight through there didn't they that scratch it all up nope it's fine good tom h two one one two thirty two months Thank you very much. What is going on, man? How you doing? For hair and of course the Bronco. Well, the Bronco is not new. We we have had that for a little bit, but yes, the hair is different. History foot. What's up, man? Thank you for the ten months. Good to see ya. How you doing? Foley in the house. What's up, man? What's up, Foley? Oh, I got the stuck brake light thing. There you go. Can't hit the brakes while you're driving. Too hard. Seems to turn those on. Been a while since I caught a stream. Good to see you again, Corey44. Absolutely. Been busy. What you been up to? Lots. So, Kathy was fired from Uber. She's no longer an Uber driver. She's currently unemployed. So we're just going to get into some shenanigans, some Karen shenanigans tonight. That's what we're going to do. That's just what's going to happen, okay? That's just what we're going to do. Make sure I have this all set up. Get the team speak ready to go in case I need 911 or anything like that. I suppose that's probably for the best. And then make sure I have my foot pedal where I need it so I can talk if I have to. I'm doing good, Adam. How you doing? My gotcha in the house. And it looks like it doesn't work. The N key works, but this does not work. Why is that a thing? Let me see what's causing that. Elgato. It's stupid. All over you look about any anything for Elgato in your in your search thing. And nothing comes up. Like it's the worst it could ever be. Megato, thank you for gifting five subscriptions. Appreciate you. Canadian Hot Rod 26, 11 months. What's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Why is this Elgato thing not working? This is weird. This is a new... It's always something. And yeah, I have no Elgato... Apparently, I have no Elgato anything installed on the, the PC, according to Windows currently. So that's good. Whatever. Let's we'll use the old-fashioned end key tonight. That works for me. That would be great for me. 
Ain't having it tonight. Nope. No sorry, Bob. We is not. Steel Force 205, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Let's see, you hit the brakes and then your brake lights are stuck on until you come to a stop. That's weird. That's a weird one. Check out the interior on this thing. It is nice. It's in rock crawl mode. It's perfectly what you want, right? Yes. Kill me. Trooper Blade, what's up? How you doing? Happy Friday to all y'all. Hopefully you had a great week. Man, this week flew by. Did it fly by for anybody else? Or am I the only one? Oh, man. If we could hit a deer. That would have been great. That would have been a good RP situation there. Yeah, it flew by because of the... Uh, what you call it? I don't know where anybody is or what's going on. Why, is these, why are these brake lights just constantly on? Whoa, hello. Super policeman going into Grapeseed. We must have just missed something. That looks like a stringer following them. Oh, another cop. Something's going on. Steve Carroll, what's up? Thank you for the gifted five. How you doing tonight? Crazy day. Bought a new car today, Nate. Nice. What kind of car did you get? Anything cool? Matt Gatto, thank you very much for gifting the subscription out. Steve Carroll with all of those. If you guys get one, be sure to say thank you, of course. Got a 2022 Kia Sorento. Nice. I believe the Sorento is a SUV, if I am correct. Kathy's currently unemployed. Doesn't have a job right now. We're just going to cart around. We'll see what people are up to. Nice Celica. I haven't seen a Celica in a minute. I'm going to stop in and get some fuel. Although this one is a crap shoot. Last time I tried to get fuel here, I blew up into pieces. So give ourselves plenty of room on this one. Try not to open a door into a gas pump. That would be ideal. There we go. It would, it would. Mekado gifted another one out to Dash 8. Thank you so much for that. X Tanker, welcome to the stream. Her last job was an Uber driver. She got fired from Uber from the last... If you don't remember the last few uh, episodes of what happened with her. Yeah, she's no longer employed with Uber. They they revoked her card. And Mekado, another one out. Game one to X Tanker. That was very kind of you. Thank you for doing that. Boy, this thing is taking a lot of fuel. Find the Malnati's pizza truck. Okay. There we go. And we have paid for it. $50 in fuel. Not too bad, I suppose. All things considered. I'm going to pull out right in front of this cop. <laughs> I should absolutely get pulled over for pulling out in front of him like that. Not yielding. <laughs> oh, I am getting pulled over. Oh, we are absolutely getting pulled over. <laughs> that took no time at all. No time at all. Love to see it. Probably for pulling out in front of him, which I deserve it. He's going to regret that. What y'all pulled me over for? Uh, Deputy Armstrong, Blake County Sheriff's Office. Um, 
the reason for the stop is that uh, the flywheel was there. I guess you were getting gas or getting some uh, work done on your uh, vehicle here. Uh, you you kind of pulled out in front of me a little bit there. Uh, well, I guess if you call getting you work done, I'll just getting gas into the truck. Oh, oh okay, that's that's fine. Uh, but uh, the reason for the stop is uh, you you kind of pulled out in front of me a little bit. Well, I done pulled out before you were there, but I didn't even see you there because I was looking down at my phone because I had to put down in where I was going up there to Yellow Jack. Okay, ma'am. Um, you you probably shouldn't be looking at your phone when pulling out onto a roadway. Maybe y'all shouldn't be going so damn whatsoever. so dang fast down the road. Ma'am, I was I was going uh, forty eight at uh, <laughs> fifty. You were doing forty, so you know exactly how how fast you were going. Well, of course I would. I mean, if I don't know how fast I'm going, how can I ab obey the law? I guess you're right about that, but I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm sorry, but I just, you know, I pulled in there and I got some gas and I was leaving. I was going up here to Yellow Jack and I was looking down and I had my, put my phone, put the GPS. That, that's okay. Um, you know, mistakes happen and everything. Let me just go ahead and get your license registration proof insurance on the vehicle. If everything checks out pretty good, uh, I'll probably just give you a verbal here, but don't, don't be paying attention to that phone while you're driving. That's a Myrtle. I don't even know. What, what's a Myrtle? A Myrtle. He said, I, I'm probably going to give you a myrtle or something. No, a, a verbal, a, ver a verbal warning. Oh, verbal. Okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. My Here you go. My name is Kathy Brunswick. Ain't got nothing to do with no bowling. Please don't ask me. Okay, will do. Thank you, Miss Brunswick. Uh, just sit tight for a minute. I'll run your information and be right back with you, okay? All right, I guess. <laughs> No one three cops, just one cop. He pulled up. If see, if you have a cop that pulls up like that and they don't have their lights on or anything, they're just backing people up. That's all. There's a lot of sibs on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Who knows what their night was like? But if I pulled up on scene, I wouldn't turn my lights on. I just parked there. It's just backing up. So there's no problem to have two two cops. So we'll wait and see. Doing good, Tanker. Doing good. Everybody's doing good, man. How you doing? This car, like the color of this red, it's like pink in the sunlight. I'm gonna I'm gonna complain about it to him and see what I can do about it. I should call dispatch. I, I should call 911 on this cop for getting pulled over for doing 48. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm definitely doing it. Hi, Miss Brunswick. Uh, here, here's your information back. I see you check out pretty good. You have one prior for speeding, uh, no, no moving violations of distracted driving or anything like that. So I'm just going to give you a verbal warning today. Uh, just a piece of advice: try to pay attention to your road, to the road, and pay attention to your mirrors when merging on. Uh, you know, you, I, I don't want to find you out here in a potential accident uh, with you or somebody else hurt. Okay? All right, Gene Bug. I guess so. I'll keep it slow down. All right, Miss Brunswick. Have a good day and be safe. All right. All right. Bye bye now. <laughs> I'm in the call waiting right now with 911. I'm gonna lodge a complaint against the Blaine County Sheriff's Office over this. 911, where is your emergency? Well, I don't know if I would call it an emergency, but it is kind of one to me. I'm right now at 949. I just got pulled over by one of y'all's deputies at Blaine County Sheriff's whatever. And uh, they pulled me over for doing 48 miles an hour. Okay, uh, where are you located? Uh, I'm across from the Yellow Jack. One of your deputies just got done talking to me. Okay. 
don't know uh, if I could get a hold of Day Sergeant or whatever they got going on over there, but I just wanted to let somebody know over there that they, they pull in rank or do whatever they're doing, and they pulled me over for 48. Okay. And uh, 50 through there, is that right? What's that? It's uh, 50 through there, 50 is the speed limit through there. Yeah, 50, and he pulled me over for doing 48. Okay. Um, are you still there? I can send a supervisor by if you want it. I guess. I mean, I wanted to go to the Yellow Jack, and I had I had done put in there that I was going, you know, I was going to Yellow Jack on my GPS, and I, I was looking down my phone for like two seconds, and then he pulled he pulled me over because he's like, "You're pulling out in front of me, and I'm doing 48 miles an hour." Okay. Um, well, it's up to you. Uh, you can take the ticket and fight it in court, or if you want to speak with the supervisor, uh, you know, we can go on out there. It's, it's completely your call. No, he didn't give me no ticket or nothing. I'm just letting somebody know about it, what y'all's doing out here. Okay. Well, I can pass the information along. All right. That's all I got for you. All right. You take care now. All right. Bye, Junior Bug. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any ranks or anything here, so there's no supervisor. They would just have to RP it. But still... I just wanted to be a jerk about it because I got pulled over. They have bring me wine assist, uh, service here. It's going to be a nuisance. I can't wait for a cop to come by. I'm just gonna be blasting the, the horn out here. <laughs> Something going on in Malnati's. Let's go roll by there. We'll see what's up. We'll get in an argument about something with that. That'll work for me. Keeps popping up on the screen, so might as well. Trying to see where all the all the peoples are. There's a cop right there. I'm doing great. I H, how you doing tonight? <laughs> Sound of the coyotes. Is there anybody working in at the Malnati's today? Doesn't look like it. Should slash their tires or something for because I know they work. I know that black car over there has got something to do with this place. Oh, and it does. I'll get my revenge on it. Cops around. What they get? 
Oh, they're at 3033. There we go. Reason they're up in uh, Roxwood, it looks like. Most people are. Guess we're going to Roxwood. There goes a cop. And first reason, reason of the night. PJ Brooks, thank you for the 48 months. Dirty Jiggy, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Stream Family. Four years, PJ. How you been, man? Captain Canada. 33 months. What's up, man? How you doing tonight? Hong Kong, you know it. I guess we're going to go up to Roxwood. Doing well, boss. Hope you and the fam are well. We're doing great. Like Tony Day Tiger. I might get pulled over for that one. Maybe not. Whoa, look at this one. Look at this one. Unbelievable. <laughs> there they go. I guess it's going to be a pursuit. I was going to get out and film. I got to remember what the, uh, what is the, the emote for that, for the, for the phone out in front of you while you walk. Cause I was going to complain about their, their little maneuver. They did. I'm, I'm going to tell the cop on them. find the emote it's not leaning with phone phone call two maybe it was just phone what's going on here let's record it is record thank you I'm going to film it. I thought there was a way I could do it to where it wouldn't uh, interfere, but maybe not. Sir, stay away from me. Stay away from your in my zone. You're in my bubble. Don't be recording me. Stay away from me. This is none of your business. I hope you're getting a, I bet, I hope you're getting a ticket for what you've done back there. She's, she's recording me. And but she's recording me. This is none that of she, her business. That she is free to oh record you if she feels like it, okay? Unbelievable. Another one of them Blaine County kids out here doing stupid stuff. Here it is right here, y'all. I do not consent. I do not consent. Stay away from Stop me. You are in my personal space. Get away. Do not consent. Don't need your vape breath near me. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Can you, can you step back here, please? I'm just, I'm just trying to record myself right now for my safety right now. Cause I don't trust that one in the blue. Okay. Can, can, can you step off the, uh, the side of the road? Like maybe between our vehicles, I guess. Thanks. Thanks. You, you understand he's on a traffic stop, right? Yeah. And you should have seen what he did back there. He's passing cars and whatnot and almost hit him. 
You're talking about the officer or the person that's pulled over? The person that's pulled over right now in that in that white car. Okay, well we're gonna deal with that. I hope somebody does because it was ridiculous. Okay, did you get any any dash cam footage of it? I no, I didn't. I, when I got out to get my phone out, that's when he took off from the police. I think he's gonna try to run from y'all. All right, just. Stay put and let me uh, check with the uh, other deputy and see what's going on, okay? I'll stay put. I'm just recording for my safety. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the audio driver. IH already did that one a long time ago. Right, so, what did you, you get it pulled over for? You can listen in. Okay. I got you, I hacker. Yeah, she said he, he, he nearly hit her. I believe. <laughs> yes, it's convoluted. Muddy the waters. That's what Kathy Brunswick does, baby. Say it again. Worried about. Okay, I think there's a highway unit on their, on their way up here. She said she didn't have any uh, any dash cam footage or anything, but I, from what from the sound of it, she she's saying that he was being pretty reckless. He's a man as he needs to go to jail. Okay. I'm just shouting in the distance. All right. He, he is going to be getting a ticket. Oh, thank heavens. At least somebody's going to do something about it around here because they almost hit me. And I just got that core. I don't need it scratched up and whatnot. It is a, it is a nice vehicle. I don't know can how I'm going to make the names? payments can on I it, though. Can I get your name and, and, uh, so we can add it to our, our notes for the report? Yes, you can. It is Kathy Brunswick and got nothing to do with no bowling. Please don't ask about it. I don't know why they always ask me that. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Oh, here we go. Now they're bringing the big guns in. They're going to take him to jail. I think he's going to run from y'all. I think that's what he was saying out the window whenever he said that. He said that he ain't scared of no police. Just makes it all up. Okay. Well, if he does, you'll be right there to capture it when he takes off. Oh, yeah. You see this life invader? This is what's going on out here. Right here at 1049 at the corner of 13 and Joshua Road. You know, that's where they always hanging out. That's where they always hanging out. Unbelievable. And then look at this baby face coming up here. These, I, I swear these troopers are getting younger and younger every single day. She, she just pulled up behind me. And so I just wanted an additional for that. Okay. Has anyone talked to her yet? Yeah. Uh, I think he was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, she said he nearly hit her and. He, but he didn't hit her, so kind of no harm, no foul, but she's upset about it. So she's just filming okay. what's going on right now is all. Okay, I'll talk to her. All right. Evening, ma'am. How you doing? I was just telling everybody on Life Vader. I'm live on Life Vader right now. I was telling everybody in there that these troopers oh, cool. are getting younger and younger by the day. You look like you're done 12 years old. Thank you so much. I'm like in my 30s, so that's really nice of you to say that I look young. I'm just... Because, man, I'm scared of getting old, you know? Well, Life Invader, this is another one of them Blaine ha uh, County hooligans out here doing stupid stuff. And he done, uh, he passed, what was it, about two cores and then got in front of that core and almost hit mine. And then I got out to get my phone out, you know, for my safety. And then he, 
Yeah, and then he drives around and he took off in the police. They ain't gonna be giving him for that because he ran away from them. He didn't he pull over. He didn't. No, he didn't pull over where they told him to. Oh man, he almost hit your core. Yeah, he almost hit my core, and, and I just got that one just recently. But it's not even a big deal anyway because I'm barely making payments on it now. Oh, you like? Are you almost done, or are you just like struggling to pay? No, I'm struggling to pay for it because oh. I got fired from Uber. Oh man, that's. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. No, no, ma no ma'am. I I understand that this uh, person was doing some reckless driving. Did you? Do you have a dash cam? You said you did Uber. Do you have a dash cam by chance? No, I don't have no dash cam. They was always oh, asking okay. me about that, and I don't have it. Okay, you didn't get any recording or anything. No, because that's what the other one over there on the left said. Oh, uh, okay, I got gotcha. you. I'm glad well, that there's enough cops out here to take care of this dude because I I think he's gonna be an actual problem later on if he if you guys don't take him off the road now. He's either, he's either doing drugs or he's gonna go drive to go do drugs or he's drinking. You know what? I can't uh, I can't dispute any of those claims, man. We we we, we can only uh, hope Cutless. to uh, that they don't do that. You know. Yeah. Daddy used to drink like that, and I and I and I tell you what, so when I see it in front of me, I, I don't like it at all. So I pulled over to make sure that they was actually going to do their job. I told them that's fine. Okay, yeah, no, that's great. And we uh, we appreciate you pulling over and uh, uh, recording this or area. live streaming this. No judge is even going to listen. Yeah, to everybody's on live beta right now if you want to tell everybody what your name is. Uh, my name's uh, Trooper Stevens with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Trooper Stevens with the Highway Patrol. You hear it right there, folks. They brought out the big guns out here to break this one down. Right here in the white yes, little, little Toyota, whatever he got. Yes, man. There's lots of us out tonight, ma'am. So we're going to make sure that you uh, stay safe out here from all these crazy drivers. Yeah, and I saw he done got pulled over earlier when, before when I was on the way to Yellow Jack. Yeah, it sounds like this is like his third pullover. And there he goes, running for the police, as usual. Yeah, I think you, I think you let him go. Unbelievable. Well, there you go. Another one in Blaine County not taking justice. Well, no, they. I believe he got a citation. Did you give him a citation there? Uh... Yeah, he got two. He got two citations, ma'am. So, th like, that's a big fine. So, I believe he, if he gets any more points, he probably has his license removed, eh, guys? Uh, yeah. It's pretty close to it. There you go, Lava so Bader. We got another one. So, justice was served, ma'am. That's all we care about. All right. I'll leave you to it. Have a great evening. All right. Take care now. Right. <laughs> I didn't care about my hair color. I got my hair color done. Nobody care. Kathy's always on something. Always. I guess we're gonna go up to Roxwood because nothing going on in Sandy Shores. I think that's where that was up in uh, Polito for the most part. stop because the lights are on <laughs> there they go whoa that thing came out of nowhere there's controls on it's the new uh, cruise control script that Darren added. We can now, uh, we don't have that old one that we used to have. So now it turns it on and then you set it and then you let go and it drives it. It's amazing. I love it. Oh yeah, Kathy hates 
the youth of San Andreas. She's always got a problem with it. Always has a problem. She does it with a clout. Not really. It's more of a social justice kind of deal. Now we're going to harass this dude. Covertly doing our thing. <laughs> I think he definitely sees me because of the headlights. Stay away from me. Are you trying to start some trouble with Get me? away from me. I'm in a public place and I am filming something for my life invader, okay? What's your life invader name? What's your name? My, why do you need my name? Why do you have your car illegally parked in this roadway right now? Why do you have your Help! car illegally parked? Oh, stop crying. I'm just asking why you're recording me. You need to get away from me. You're in my personal space. I'm not in your personal space. Stay right where you're at. You gotta stop. You gotta stop recording people. It's rude. And we don't, I don't appreciate it at all. Stay away from me. Help. Help me in my personal space. Stay away from me. Hey, you're lucky that I'm not a bad person because a bad I have a taser in my car and I will use it against you if you do I'm not, not if you do not stay away from me. You better not tase me. Help. See right there? That's one of them Blaine County kids right here. Nine one one, that one, baby. You better believe it. Yes, thank God you all picked up. Okay, I'm at 3030 at the Globe Oil here. Well, it's a 24-7 in the Globe Oil together. And that white Toyota, that kid that was in that white to Toyota, he just came up to me and had an altercation with me. He, he illegally parked his car in front of me and blocked me in and then invaded my personal space saying, you don't, you shouldn't be recording people, you shouldn't be doing all this and that. And I was just on that traffic stop with all everybody else. And, and he came down here with all of that. And now... And now I'm like really scared. He took off towards Polito Bay. Okay, so, so he's since stopped blocking you in and uh, has left the scene. Yeah, he was harassing me. I told him, I said I had a taser in my truck and I wasn't afraid to use it if he kept coming near me. Okay, um, does he have a weapon? I don't know if he did or not. He was wearing like a blue sweatshirt and then he took off and he was honking the horn and he scared the hell out of me when he was honking a horn like that and then he went all the way to Polito Bay. Okay, was he a uh, white, black, Hispanic, Asian? It was one of them young white kids from Blaine County. You know how they look. Okay, and uh, uh, did you have a catch in, did you happen to catch a license plate on that white Toyota? I did not get the license plate on that, but what I did see was like a white, was a Toyota, like uh, I think it was one of them Celicas before they like try to rebrand them. Okay. And uh, are you still at that 24 seven right now? Yeah, I'm parked at the 24 seven, but I was going to get on my way up to Roxwood. Okay. So did you want to speak with officers to take a report or? Yeah, if you can, I'll stay, I'll stay right here. 
Okay. Um, what is the address of that 24-7 there? I'm right at 3030. Okay. And what was your name? My name is Kathy Brunswick. Ain't got nothing to do with no bowling. Don't ask about bowling to me. I don't know why they always ask that. Okay. I didn't plan on it. And, uh, Miss Brunswick, um, just so they can easily identify you, what color shirt and pants are you wearing? I'm not wearing it. I'm wearing my shorts today, and then I got my white top on, and then ain't nobody asked me about my hair. I got, I just got it done. They didn't ask me about that. And then I got okay. my sandals on. All right. What color shorts are you wearing? That's friendly. They're blue, blue jeans. Blue jean shorts? Yeah, they're, they're blue jean shorts. Okay. All right. Well, we'll send someone by to take a report, okay? All right, I'll be waiting. All right, take care. All right, bye, June Bug. <laughs> yeah, he wanted me to say jorts. I wasn't going to give it to him. I wasn't going to give him that. Sasha, thank you very much for the cheer. Appreciate you. Glad you enjoy everything. Oh, thanks, Steve. At least somebody noticed. That cop's like right there. He's going to get dispatched to me. Unless he left. Go turn around, maybe. Mac truck, what's up? How you doing? I already know that trooper doesn't want him up here. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. Back to 901. Oh yeah, that's him. That's a guy right behind you right there in that in that uh, in that white Toyota over there. Guy in the white Toyota? What's going on, ma'am? Yeah, I'm on call waiting with 911 because he came back for me. He was here at the gas station, he came down there and then he challenged me down there because I was on that traffic stop with him earlier. And then he oh. aggressively parked his car in front of me and blocked me in and then was getting up in my personal space. I think he's stalking me or something because he's not happy because he got two tickets earlier. He's mad at you about that? Yeah, because I was a, a witness, to, a key witness to all that nonsense that he pulled. And it's just this gentleman over here in the blue. Yeah, he's wearing that blue sweatshirt. Okay, I'm going to go talk to him. I'll be right back, man. Sit tight for me. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we don't have to be in uh, nine one call waiting anymore since the cops are here. But I put it in nine one. I was like, help, <laughs> help. <laughs> it's the best just to just go full Karen on the uh, on a sieve. And it organically happens. It's the best, you know. All right, iHacker, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Enjoy your weekend. I'm 
going to walk up to get a closer shot. Film him on the corner. <laughs> oh yeah, I get an emote of Kathy with her phone out. That'd be pretty good. I'll have to look into that. Doing the Kathy creep. You best believe it. Hi, Velo Gaming. Thank you so much for the 10 months. What's going on? Happy Friday to you. Hey, Laram, what's up? <laughs> I've been good. Can't complain. Hang on the windows of cars. I won't tase a cop. Oh, nice Ferrari going down the road. You see that? No, I don't need to escalate it by going up there and, and tasing. That'd be instant jail. Scan fan 911. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate you. No, That's a good spot where we're at. You don't want to be the person that is the aggressor in this. I'll let it unfold into its natural thing. I've been in the cops shoes before. I know what it's like to be on the, a call like this where you have to do all this and talk to everybody. And then you don't want to have somebody escalating stuff just randomly. It just kind of ruins their RP they got going. You know what I mean? Exactly. Dual master. You get it. You get it. I guess he's going to be on his way. Is he done stalking me? Hey, permanent. I'm uh, ha ha okay, ma'am. Uh, what's your name, ma'am? My name's Kathy. Kathy? All right, Kathy, from the beginning, tell me what's going on. So, from the beginning, we was over at Joshua Road and 13, right there by the LTD, you know? And then he came out of nowhere, out the woodwork, past like three cores 
and then gets behind me and almost hits my core. So I get out and I was like, oh, I'm going to get my phone up and running. And then a cop gun up and start pulling him over. And then he took off from the police. Then they pulled him over to the side of the road. And then another cop came and then they talked to me. And then another one came. It was one of them troopers that were like 12 years old looking. And then <laughs> they was asking me a bunch of questions right. about him. And then he got two citations for doing what he was doing. And I was a key witness in seeing that. And then I come down the road and he's over here and he pulls up in front of me and he blocks me in and he challenges me about everything that happened back there. Okay. Okay, because what he was telling me, uh, what he was telling me is that you were kind of, well, I don't know so much as following him around, but, um, you know, he was just kind of trying to do what he was regularly going to do and that everywhere he goes, you're kind of going around recording him and everything. That ain't happening because I came back here and I was going to pull in and I was going to get myself some, some gas for my core. And then he's right there and then he pulls up in front of me and he blocks me in and gets out and challenges me like that. So he, so he blocked your car in? Yeah, he blocked it in and then he was holding the horn down and intimidating me and all that. And I told him, I said, I got, I got a taser and I will use it if you get closer to me. And then he finally was like, whatever. And he turned around, got back in his core and he drove off. And then I called y'all and then all of a sudden... He's, he pulls back in again. So I tried to get a hold of 911 again, but they was busy. So now I was waiting, and then you showed up. Okay. I got you. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, because I've got, I've got two different stories. And, <laughs> you know, he said, from what he's saying, he's, you know, you're har harassing him. From what you're saying, he's harassing you. I'm just trying and to protect myself and my property. That's all I'm doing. I understand. I understand. Um, I'm going to see if this 24-7 has cameras, actually. Was it anywhere? Like, was it right in front of this building he blocked you in? No, it was down there on the, uh, right where did you go down the hill? Oh, right where you go down the hill there? Over, is that where, where your car is now or a little further up the road? Yeah, in front of my car. Right down, whenever you go down that hill right there, that's where he blocked me in was right there. Okay, let me go see if this, uh, if this building has camera angles of that. I, I doubt it, but I'm just going to go check real quick and see if I can get an idea of what happened, okay? Yeah, there's a there's a camera right there I see on a wall. Okay. And uh, what was your name one more time, ma'am? I'm sorry. Kathy Brunswick. All right, Miss Brunswick. All right, sit tight right here for me, and I'll be right back, okay? All right, I guess. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, Kathy just tells you what happened, but she will leave out all of the details that include him or any, anything that she did wrong, <laughs> you know? That's how it's that's how it's done. Oh, my nerves, what's up? How you doing? There's no audio and recordings now. Kathy has to be running out of storage on that phone. All the poor souls. Now she just deletes them after a few after a few months. Kathy has cloud. <laughs> Ralph, what's up, Ralph? How you doing tonight? get a better view <laughs> now you can't have crooked cops and in this RP, a Karen cop would not be right. Help! He coming near me. He's coming near you? Yeah, he got out of his car and he was coming near me. Okay, because 
to me, he's kind of where he was before, and you're a lot closer than you were before. Yeah, because I came up here to talk to you, and he got out of his car. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just going to sit right out here for a second, because uh, I actually wanted to come out here and make sure you guys weren't doing anything while I was in there checking the cameras. I got another, uh, got another trooper coming. All right. Yeah, no, I'm just watching him, making sure he ain't going to get out of the car and come at me again. Oh, I understand. And like I said, it, you know, I'm right here. So nothing should happen while, hopefully nothing happens while I'm here. And if it does, you know, go from there. But yeah, so I do have a good camera. I do have a good camera angle. I just wanted to check that. I can see it right, looks right at, that looks right at your car there. Um, yeah, it was a little further down to the left-hand side. That's where he pulled. He was at the gas pumps, and he pulled out, and then he, he blocked me in. Okay. All right. And that's that's what I'm going to check and uh, check and see what I can see there. I just want to make sure we get another unit here to, you know, talk to you guys and make sure you guys are okay. Because the last thing I want to have happen is something happen to you or something happen to him or something happen. So. That's why I got my phone out because I'm making sure that I'm going to be okay. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now he's over there cat calling me and whatnot. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> you whistling at her? A GoPro on it, on her head. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, good. He's oh, he's leaving. Oh, he's moving. Yeah, this guy. Wait for him to come towards me so he can hear me in earshot. I'm going to be explaining what's going on. And then he pulled out right there and went around that car, and you could tell he was almost about to pull away from the police. Oh, no. He was just moving. He asked if he could move further away from you because he's uncomfortable with the, uh, with the recording there, which I told him you're... Yeah, he's you're uncomfortable because he doesn't want to get caught. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. But, uh... Yeah, um... I told him he could move a little bit further away if it made him more comfortable. Uh, yeah, what's ever ever better for him, I guess. Well, I'm, it's better for you, too. Because, like <laughs> I said, I don't know what his state of mind is. I don't know what your state of mind is. I'm just I'm still figuring all that out. He's out here doing that street racing. That's all they've been doing out here lately. Just street racing? Yeah, that's what they do. They come out here in their little cars like that, and they put they put the new rims on them and all that, and then they go out and go street racing. And that's I almost got killed. Earlier. I almost got killed by one of them. What was that? Like a couple months ago from them doing that. Whoa. Oh my god! 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 Somebody in a motorcycle just went down a road, shooting at cops and everything. Unbelievable. You okay, ma'am? Yeah, I'm okay. Life invader, I'm okay. I got a trooper right here. All right, I'm going to check on him, make sure he's okay. Okay, you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. <laughs> Holy moly.
Unreal. Pretty sure it was his. That's what these Blaine County hooligans do out here. They done hire somebody like that. Unbelievable. Oh my heavens, there he's right there. Oh, and he's shooting at him again. Here's the Tahoe bringing up the rear. That one of yours? I think they put the head out of me. I think he done put the hit out on me on his explosions over here. That was crazy. That dude's going to die tonight on that motorcycle. He's going, he's going to get shot doing that. Shooting the cops like that on a motorcycle. Oh, if they pulled in here and I got shot, that'd be the best thing ever. I would absolutely blame it on this guy for hiring somebody to get to, to kill me. Oh yeah, they're having a good conversation over there. I didn't even know that uh, Ryan was uh, on. Had no clue. He out of his car, help. Knowing Ryan, he's probably having a conversation about the Celica. <laughs> probably. Well, yeah, I know Ryan was in the last stop with me. I had a conversation with him. I'm saying I didn't know that he was on server. Y'all should have him in cuffs. I I'm pretty sure he put a hit out on me, trying to take me down. I think he's trying to take you down. 
Yeah, he wa he that. wants to shut me up after everything he did down there. Okay, well, unfortunately, the camera angles that I'm getting, I've got a perfect angle of the car, but the camera didn't start recording until I showed up. Uh, so it's not giving me anything on that. So okay. this, what, I, what I'm going to do, I think, and, you know, um, is I'm going to tell you the same thing I'm going to tell him, which is uh, you leave him alone. Okay, stay away from him. I'm going to tell him to stay away from you. Okay. Okay. And if we get any more calls about you two interacting with each other, okay, um, we're going to end up having to put somebody in cuffs and take somebody to jail. Okay. Well, I hope it's one of them hooligans over there that's right over there in his white car. Well, like I said, if he's harassing you, that will 100% be the case. I can guarantee yeah, you he, he probably called up one of his buddies to try to t take me out going down a highway on, on their motorcycle. What makes you think he's gonna he's doing that? Because that's just what they do. Okay. Look, I'm worried about my safety and my property, okay? And he's getting and in the so way of that I. over and over again. Are he you, done are try you to like, don't try to take me out twice. Him at all? Have you been like searching him out to like videotape him and live stream him? No, I no, not at all. I came down here and he was right there and then he pulled up in front of me and he and he he, he put his car right in front of mine and blocked me in. Okay. He's an aggressive hooligan in Blaine County, and he probably had one of his friends come by here and try to shoot me. I don't, I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's just a young kid just trying to, having fun with their, their little fast car. I don't think they're trying to do anything like that, man. Yeah, the, yeah. the street racing is what I'm talking about. I was talking about this with this officer right here. It's yeah. that that street racing started to get out of control. It was on a couple months ago, and I almost died from one of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Right now, ma'am, if you can just stay clear of him, and we're gonna tell the same like this trooper said, or sorry, deputy troop, deputy, deputy. I, I don't deputy, know. I, I, I trooper, some, something they, messed whatever up. Whatever the officer said, uh, we're gonna make sure that he steers clear of you. Okay. I hope so because I will call nine one one again if he if he try to challenge me the way he doing. Okay, you do that, and like, if if he starts acting aggressive, yeah, whip your phone out. Take some video and then you can show us if you if you record him being violent, aggressive, or threatening or anything like that, we'll uh we'll press charges. All right, because I I told told this officer too, I got myself a taser in my core and I will use it against him if he come in front of me. Well let's hopefully he doesn't uh, resort to that, ma'am. Yeah, exactly, because if you do that in a case that isn't self defense, you know, it's gonna be an assault case there. All right, I guess he gets to go off and go free again. But yeah, we're going to talk to him. We're going to tell him the same thing, okay? All right, well, then tell him he better stay away from me. Otherwise, if if he continued to do what he's doing, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go down to the city hall, and I'm going to get a restraining order on him. Okay, th that's not that's not a bad idea. You know, that's, that's, that's a good way to handle that. Okay, and we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go talk to him and tell him the same thing. Okay, Miss Kathy. All right, I was going, I was on my way up to Roxwood because apparently uh, you got to go up there to get a pizza because they didn't have none down yeah. in Sandy Shores. Yes. Yeah, so, so don't follow him around. Leave him alone, and we're gonna tell him the same thing. Okay, you have a great rest of your day, ma'am. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too good. Well, Kathy's got to play the victim. You know how that goes.
stupid AI. It's too good. Tron plays now. Doesn't hurt my voice. Oh, we ran that red. There is something going on here in Roxwood. We'll go see what, what it is. There's a new update to Roxwood that's going to be coming out soon enough that's going to have the, the gas station and some other stuff added to it, which is really cool. some people up around here maybe we'll see somebody inside How you doing? Of course, nobody here for pizza. Oh, she's not going to be happy. She has to go all the way to Sandy Shores for a pizza. <laughs> of course she does uh she does uh all caps on her phone <laughs> Cancel Malnati's. <laughs> oh, that's where they said they were. They had. They were at earlier on uh, on Twitter. We were there yesterday. Yes, they do. It's me, but currently it's Chiliad County and Blaine County. 
that have jurisdiction up here. Once Polito PD rolls out, it'll be a little bit different. <laughs> They're adding me. Report. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's roxwood r-o-x-w is o-o-d Go, we'll do 60. Right on the button. Breaking news caps locks not needed. Joe Blanco, 49 months is a very long time. Thank you so much for the continued support, man. I appreciate you. Hopefully you're having a great Friday. Stop it with 65. That'll work. Pretty decently. Stuff Irvine, Stuff Irvine, thank you very much for the cheer. Appreciate you. How you doing tonight? going on. Ultimate Dead Man thing for the 14 months. Guys, uh, if you aren't sure what metagaming is, Telling other people what other streams are doing and all that stuff is a direct violation of that. Um, it'll be a timeout here. So it's the last time I'll say it. Next time it'll be timeouts. After that, it'll be removal. So we don't mess around with that. It breaks RP. And uh, please don't do it. Another street racer caught. 
Ooh, helicopter. There it goes. Ooh, it looks like it's Air One. They got Air One up in the air, man. Oh, big scene over here. What happened here? There's that dude in the Celica. What the hell's going on over here? Okay, ma'am. Yeah, well, I went all the way to Roxwood for my pizza, and then they said they was down here. I come all the way here, and guess what? Nobody's here. Okay, ma'am. So just just so you're aware, there was a really large shooting that just happened between the pizza place and uh, a noodle people, I guess. So we're it's an active situation right now. So there's a uh, if you see a CNT news van. Please call that in because we're looking for them and be careful because there there's many people in there with guns. All right, I'll, I'll call that in, but I guess I'm just out of pizza again. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Yeah, I don't know. I think they, the the people running this might be involved in that scene across the street. So, um, well, well, one of them yeah. had no, one of them had their phone out because if you look on Twitter, I was I was blowing up their spot up there in uh, Polito Bay or up in what Roxwood, sorry, and yeah. and they was talking back to me on there. Okay. Yeah, that like that, that might have been earlier, but yeah, that's I don't know what's going on, man. But I I gotta go look for this van, okay? Please stay safe and be be careful out here. All right, I guess I will. All right, Bye, bug. We'll go get some some gas. If we see that news van, we will definitely call it in. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. They had a huge shootout, apparently. Pick it up. What? Won't let me pick that up. Strange. I can't pick this one up either. What the hell's going on? I guess they're out of gas here. I have to go to the other one, the one that uh, I died at last time. This is where it all went down. Yeah, there's somebody laying in the grass over there. Somebody got shot up for sure. You know, serve Kansas. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. This one works. So there's that. Slayer, what's up? How you doing? Slayer. No, the blue. That's not a guess. A blue at the bottom left there. That's our lungs. Hey Ryan, take care. 
Thanks for hanging out with us. What the hell's going on over here? Uh, maybe they found that van. Ammunition's open. We'll go get some cartridges for our uh, our taser. Stuff Irvine, thank you for the cheer. Appreciate you. Jesus, that local. What are they doing? Holy moly, dude. Here they go, down the road. Crazies. A tire down and everything, a wheel. What the hell's that all about? How you doing? Sir, how are you? I guess I'm all right. I need to get some cartridges for my taser. Taser? Okay, I can get that. How many do you need? I guess I'll take four. Four of them? How much are they going to be? Uh, they're $30 a piece. Okay. 120 total. Okay. 120 total. Gonna pay right, debit. Go, 20. 120. Alright, here's my cord. Alright, you are all set then. Alright, thank you, Jim Bug. Yeah, have a good one. You too. <laughs> Tony son, what's up? How you doing? they're going holy moly <laughs> just ran over that <laughs> oh man it's too good yeah they're definitely looking for somebody
That's something happening over here. <laughs> My God. They're just like, nothing to see here. Oh my God. Unbelievable. It just ran that red in front of me. Cops didn't care at all. It is what's with all these taxis? Everybody's ordering taxis. That's what it looks like. Jeez Louise, man. What's that? What are they doing? The car off the road over there on the right. Oh, wait. Is that that one? No, I was like, is that a cop? I feel like we're getting into something we shouldn't be getting into. We're frozen. On the AI was that Lincoln Navigator that was behind us. Let's see what this is over here. Be a nosy neighbor. I think it's time for Kathy to move probably from Polito to, to there. I wanted to get one of these houses right over here in this little spot. There goes a cop. I think that car left. Yeah, it definitely did. So maybe we should get a U-Haul and U-Haul from Polito to here. What do you think? You think Kathy should move from her house in Polito Bay? I think she needs a new scene change of pace. Okay. Right here. Let's get the mover van. I think it's just called mover. Is that what it's called? Yep. There it is. Perfect. All right, moving day. We have all our stuff. We're moving. I've been just playing without any music on. Do you guys like 
the no music or do you you like music to ha happen in the background Remember, you can only do 55 in these things. There we go, 55. It won't stay on. Why? I guess it'll be faster than that. Nope. This doesn't have cruise control, apparently. You like music? All right, we'll pull over. We'll put some music on. Get pizza. There it is. Now they have pizza open again. Now they do. You gotta be kidding me over here. All right, let's kill the music a little bit more. About right there. There we go. Another street racer. going on big time another cop going to Polito Last cops going that way. I don't know what that was about. It's like a real U Haul truck. Some music for Kathy's uh, moving day. Hey, TJ, what's up? How you doing? Get him going. Bow now, and on, bow now, on. Bit of 
Lie down, butter. Oh, what is this? I'm going to get myself a, a pizza while I'm here. The hell is this? I think I'm okay tonight. Thank you, though. Hello, welcome to the uh, I'm already seeing someone. Excuse me? We said hi, welcome. Hi, welcome. So, anyways. I didn't know y'all started getting greeters out here. Kids. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Jesus, I, it's uh, part of the Van uh, Artie's charm. Well, I don't like it. Uh, oh, okay. But, okay. My, that's, I'm sorry. That's your opinion. Welcome to Maldonado's. Is this the line right here? Oh, no. We're this. We're employees. Every one of y'all's employees out there like door yeah. greeters at like the Megalomart. Well, I, we just, we like to be friendly. <sighs> I just want a pizza. That's all I want so I can get on my way. Let me tell the, the, the Sal's got your order. Uh, hi. Welcome to Maldonado's. How may I take your orders? Yeah, I want one Hawaiian pizza. Ooh. Ma'am, we uh we do not have a uh, pineapple as toppings nor Canadian nope. bacons. We don't serve You have got to be kidding me. You ain't got we no have... I drove we... all the way up to Roxwood and then I come all the way back here for this. Well, ma'am, we have the finest of all pepperonis and uh sausage and and of course the uh, mozzarella cheeses. I don't want none of that. I want a Hawaiian pizza. That's what everybody else does around here. Okay, so maybe go maybe to Hawaii. Maybe she Hawaii's wants one of them then. dumb bitches drinks. Uh, ma'am, I, I said I cannot offer you that. Like I said, all we have is the sausage and the pepperonis. Excuse me, you're over there. Give, you're giving me the mouth right there. Well, I think there's more hymns than me's. I was just yeah, saying, no, the Hawaiian yeah. pizza. Go no, to somebody Hawaii. call me a bitch. That's what they just did. No, no, no. no. We were no, the dumb bitch that drinks. Yeah, you know the drinks. I don't know what that means, but I know that this one right here on the left is to me. He's the one that just called me a bitch. No, no, no he was offering. See this laughing fader drink. right here in Mount Nadis? This is how they do it down here. No, no, no. We are offering you a complimentary beverage. Ma'am, he was You got six door greeters the out there, and you walk in, and you can't even get a Hawaiian pizza around here. Maybe if you uh, turn around and take a look, you'd see the drinks. Yes, yeah, ma'am. This one right there. This well, is I don't we understand. I, I don't like you calling me a bitch. To my face. At, le no, at least no, wait no, for me to no, leave. No just, no, just turn around. It's right there. Yeah, turn around and look at the dumb bitch. This, right is, this is our specialty drinks. We have a, uh, a real dumb partnerships with the dumb bitch soda really. company. You going to keep on running that mouth? You want to turn over here and take your complimentary drink? Okay, hey, excuse us. Lines. I don't want nothing that's going to be bringing down the pay uh, patriarchy. I am not taking that drink. I know, but I understand, ma'am. So may I offer you a slice of our finest sausage and pepperonis? I guess. I, I guess I'll take I'll take a sausage pizza okay, since y'all ain't got no Hawaiian. Calm down. Yes, like ma'am. Would you like a girls. slice or a, a whole pie? Help! This man's been following me all day. Help! The one in the blue right there. What the, the one in the blue. I got. I'm just going to put a restraining order on him. Help! You, you call the police. Now. Call the police. Your safety. Oh, hang on. We we got our we got our security guys in he, out here. Geo. Yeah, go get Geo. We gotta stop. Okay. <laughs> good ideas. Ridiculous. Uh, 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 uh. Right. He left. Do we pay you enough to do this? Her, so I mean. Yeah, that's that's I don't know how that works. Okay, ma'am, he's really gone. If you would like to uh, continue your order at the uh, register. No, this has been going on all day, so I'm going to call the police on him. I would be happy to take your orders, but be, not, please be advised no, that uh, you are in the danger zone from the other customers behind you. Uh, okay, I think it was Gio's going to keep us safe. One he's calling the cops. Oh, yeah, I love. Yeah, Gio's just going to... I heard you want the uh, gun show. going to flex by us. Yeah, that one over there in, in the blue, he the one that been following me around all day. And I was just coming down here. I was going to get a restraining order after I was done moving. Uh, uh, that's $10. Well, 
for this fine hey, okay, okay ma'am, you said the one in the blue? $10. Yeah, he's wearing that blue sweatshirt or whatever. Yeah, yes, yeah, sweetheart, he's gone, though. Excellent. I still have to call it into police because they the ones that told me if he was he was following me around, I was got to call him back. I mean, I, I understand that, but if, if they try to show up here and try to find him, they're not going to find him here. He's, he's gone. Oh, I'm sure he'll be yeah, back. Gone. I'm sure he's around. All right, all right. He's been following me everywhere I go. Yeah. It's all my right. moving day. This listen, is my day. Listen, can I, can, I, can I offer you a cannoli to calm down a little bit? I ain't had a cannoli in a long time, so yeah, I take one. Yeah, yeah, it's fresh made. Excuse me, Hunt. Oh, sorry, Vinny. I'm going to get her a cannoli. Remember, lock the storage room. Don't build a shelf. It's all locks. Can you back away from me? You're in my personal space. I'm just wanting to make this phone call. I'm sorry. Sir, all right, here you go, sweetheart. If you, uh, I locked the store. Whenever you want that, uh, okay, cannoli, just a yeah, crystal on it, all right? All right, you can put it down on that right over there. I got that yeah, person's got license plate if you need it, so you can tell Yes, I do need it. Yes, I do. Yeah, it's uh, what, uh, RPX 622. Yeah, that's it. RPX 622. Yeah, he's driving like a white, uh, it's like a, uh, I don't know what it is. Toyota, it's that white, white Toyota, Toyota Celica, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is, yep. Yeah, he's been following me around all day. This is my day, yeah, it's my he's, moving day. He's just Do you in know him? Over the years. I'm not a skinny no, I don't know him. He He's the one that almost hit my core the other day, and then he got pulled over, and he got two different citations for it, and then he got mad at me, and he, he blocked me in up at the Adam. Did you say your core? 911, where is your phone? Yes, yeah, hello. That? My name is Kathy Brunswick. I'm at the Mount Natty's Pizza right here, 1033. Oh, she's on, she's on and that, that one from earlier yeah, in the blue. The what the hell's a course? In the, in the blue sweatshirt or whatever that's been following me all day. Like, he showed up like right behind me. Face? This is my moving day. I have my U-Haul out there, Karen and he came up. It's like RPX 622 on his license plate. Well, I think I think it's good. Good odds. Wow, that's pretty good. What yeah, that white, know? that white Toyota Celica. Oh, he been following me around, and I told that that oh, trooper yesterday oh, that if he keeps following me around, I was gonna call y'all. Uh, oh my she odds. doesn't even take like a breath. What about she just keeps going. Going. Yeah, I'm right here now. He left right now, but I would like him to come out so I could talk to them. Actually, he was okay. still sitting in the parking lot. Uh, you said is, uh, your name is, uh, uh, I, I just, I just learned that he's still in the parking lot, so I'm not leaving. Malnati's until he has been taken care of because I don't okay. want I don't want him doing something to me. And you're Kathy, oh, correct? This, uh, yes, Kathy Brunswick. Okay, he's not armed, armed, is, uh, correct? To one odds. He might be. At this out. point, I don't know. He's been following me everywhere I go. Okay, but you haven't seen a weapon, correct? I haven't seen no weapon in his hand. I do have my taser on me. Okay. I will use it if I have to. Okay, well, hopefully it doesn't come to that. We're going to get help on the way. Oh, look. All right, I don't I'll want him to know where I live, so I will wait for the cops to get here. Okay, and that's uh, 1033 Zancudo Avenue, correct? Yes. All right, we got help on the way. All right, thank you. What's the, how's the one I hope they shoot the bitch? Uh, I hope they shoot the bitch is uh, 14 to 1 odds at the tracks today. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> he might be. <laughs> oh, look, We're going to wait for the police. Karen is uh, 19 to 1 odds at the tracks. Oh, that, Wow. You enjoying that cannoli, ma'am? I ain't had a bite of it yet, but I will in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Sniping and griping is uh, three to one odds. What about 30 footer? How, how's that little one looking? Oh, two to one odds. Oh, no. Can I see your manager is uh, four to one odds today at the tracks? Oh, wow. No, you cannot see my manager is uh, two to one odds at the tracks. How about I am the manager? Uh, heading towards the glue factory. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse you. Yeah, there's the there's an officer for you. That's the cars. You look like your cops is here. Yeah, I need to talk to them. But you might servers. Oh no. Well, the guy's still over on the other side of the parking lot, so yeah, maybe okay. stay over here for right now. Yeah, I'm gonna stay right here. Maybe oh, yeah. bacon. Okay. It's seventeen we, to one odds. Yeah, oh, we got nice. we got the muscles here to protect you. Oh Sal's having a stroke again. We can do some push ups, you know press up jeans. Was it two people or just the one? Help, you've been following me, help. Uh hello? 
Yeah, that one right there on the left-hand side, he's been following me, and I was going to get myself a restraining order against him because two days ago, we, this has been going on for two days, and I don't want him to know where I'm moving to. Good luck. Okay. Uh, man, would you mind coming over here to uh, my uh, car car right yeah, can you come over here? Cause I don't want him to see me. He's right there in the, in the blue. And there he is. Help! He's gonna he's gonna come after me. Oh, he's out of the cars. Help! Oh, I know. I have a taser. I will use it on you if you come near me. <laughs> At this point, I just need to freaking tase him, but I don't want to because I'm moving. It's my moving day. Now, boss, can I see you inside for seconds? Okay, well, I do. Yeah, I don't know what they do. Okay, ma'am. So, um, you just wanted to talk right here? Yes, because I'm not going to go over near him. Because I was, I was going to, after I'm done moving, I was going to go by the city hall and get a restraining order on him. Because he's been following me around for two days now. Okay. And, and uh, what's your name, ma'am? My name's Kathy Brunswick. It has nothing to do with no bowling. I don't want to hear about it because everybody don't ask me about that. Okay, like the stew? I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> All right, Miss Brunswick. So, um... T tell me in as much uh, description as you want to uh, what exactly is going on here. So two days ago, he almost hit my core, and then he got pulled over, and he got two citations for it. And then I was on the side of the road because I had I was a key witness in that, and I gave that to the uh, to the officers on, on the scene. And then I was going down. I was going to get gas at the, the Adam Little uh, the Globe Oil, actually, down there at uh, 3033 out in okay. Polito Bay. And I pulled okay. in there, and then he, he came. He moved his core. And then he blocked me in, and then he was like, make, he's being real threatening towards me. And then he drove off. He held, he held the horn down for a long time, and then he drove off. And then I went up there. I was gonna get gas, and then he turned around and he come back in. And then they was, they was out there just waiting for me. So I wasn't, I wasn't safe. I didn't feel safe. It's what I mean to say. And then I called the uh, the troopers out there, and they came out there, and then they took my report and everything else. And all he's been doing lately is just following me around. Okay. All right. So uh, give me one second here. Uh, what's up, uh, uh, Officer Dank? Um, so evening, gentleman in the uh, powder blue over there. Okay. Um, that's um, who Ms. Brunswick is um, talking about with this. Uh, if you want to Y'all can talk to, him, to the Highway Patrol. They have all my reports. Um, I'm going to go look and see if uh, I got anything, you know, in previous reports and stuff. But I'm going to um, finish up with Miss Brunswick here. And um, if you want to talk to him, that would be cool. Um, it is your jurisdiction, so we'll, I'll uh, give you all my information, all my notes and stuff. And Sounds good. Uh, what's Miss we'll Brunswick alleging? Is it a harassment? Uh... Harassment and uh, stalking, I believe. Correct me. Yeah, for two days now, okay. and they ain't done nothing about it. And, they, and and he got two citations, and they didn't take him to jail back then. Whenever he threatened me like that, and he and he, put, he pulled his car in front of me and, and blocked me in. And then now okay, he, this is the, and then I told it, and they said, hey, you have to go to separate ways and don't go near each other no more. And I didn't do that, but I come down here to get a pizza, and he comes in, and here again he is, and he just went outside, and he's sitting in his car just waiting for me to move my U-Haul. I don't want him to know where I'm moving. Okay, Ms. Brunswick, did they ever get a restraining order or anything against you guys? No, you know? I was going to do that after I was done moving. I was going to move, and I was going to go down to the city hall here on Sandy Shores and get his restraining order on him. Okay, okay and do you know well, if he's been drinking alcohol or has any weapons i'm on sure him? he has he's one of them blaine county hooligans you know what they do he's one of them street racers i got you all right Let and right now i guarantee he's probably he up yeah, there it is right there he's leaving oh, gotcha do you have this white car here yeah yes. he's that white car right there i don't want him near my u-haul i got insurance on it but I ain't gonna pay for anything he gonna do to it Okay, where, where is he? Oh, oh, it's right across the street. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> if I had eyes in the back of my head, I'd be able to see it. So, um, all right. So what, what I would suggest to you to do um, immediately, uh, as, as soon as possible, go ahead and file that restraining order. Yeah, I'm going to do it right um, now. I need to find out his name because they wouldn't give me his name. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure the, uh, the other officer will uh, get all of the information uh, for you and then we, we can 
get all of the paperwork properly filed over at uh, study hall and all of that good stuff. So, all right. Anything else? I'm that, um, I am shaking mad right now. I understand. I understand. But um, you know, you, you you're doing the right thing by reporting this in. You know, maybe uh, could have got could have uh, kind of. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of, kind of, kind of hit this off at the pass um, yesterday with the uh, restraining order, but you know. Um, well, I, I told the trooper that I was going to do that, and he said you should do that if he does it again. And here he get again, he is doing it. Well, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. You know, and this is what the third time now. Yeah, this is the third time now. Yeah, so generally, uh, you know, strike three and you're out. So. I don't know what, what is going on here. They don't have Hawaiian pizza here at all. Unbelievable. It is kind of kind of kind of weird with the with, the, with the, how the craze has been here lately about it. Oh, it is just pineapple. And it's like when I used to work at the Megalo Mall, you know, down in the Megalo Mart down in uh, Davis, they would uh, we we had greeters. We had one greeter, and then I I pulled up in here, and there's like six of them on me, saying welcome this, welcome that. That's uh that's interesting. <laughs> I apologize, I could not uh, help but overhear uh, your dissatisfaction with our customer service techniques, madam. Yeah, because I've drove all the way up to Roxwood for a pizza and y'all's wasn't there and you said that you was on the Twitter and then I came all the way back down here and no one was here because apparently everybody got shot up or whatnot. So then I went all the way up back to Polito because I'm moving today and I come down here and then this is what I'm dealing with y'all that ain't got no Hawaiian pizza I apologize that uh, you were off timing with our uh, trip to Roxwood we were there yesterday's ma'am um, and, and as, fa as far as the, the police shooting up the place that was an unfortunate incident but we are back open for your uh, business at this point because we at Malnati's care about your patronage well now I'm full off that cannoli I don't want no pizza that is fine. I understand, ma'am. Have you uh, thought about our uh, our uh, customer membership for our pizza? Buy 10 pizzas, get the 11th free. I don't want none of that upcharge. I want none of that nonsense. Oh, no, ma'am. We don't we don't upcharge. We simply give you a card and punch a hole in it for every visit. No, I don't want none of that. I understand, madam. I also apologize we that we do not have pineapple, but seriously uh san andreas is not a tropical climate we have no means of gathering pineapples uh, for our know, pizzas at megalomart hey, we sold nice pineapples just like Sal's. they come straight in from cal perico i don't want to even hear about that oh my God. we oh, at malnati's right believe here. in farm fresh uh free range sausage and pepperoni and unfortunately we cannot source pineapple as farm fresh or free range therefore we do not offer it as a uh, consideration to our customers. Go to Hawaii if you want a Hawaiian pizza. Unbelievable. You see this? This sass the other one's giving me the whole time? This is what I'm dealing with. And I, and, and I ain't got I no time for this because I ain't got no time for this because I'm dealing with this other thing. I am sorry that you are. your day has been inconvenienced by a person whose religion is based on aliens. I cannot help that, though. I only wish that our pizza could bring you solace <laughs> in your time of need. Well, that one in the blue shirt, I, I don't I don't want to be around him no more. I understand, ma'am, and I am sure that your cooperation with the deputies here will bring a swift end to your inconvenience by the person in the blue shirt. Oh, and Lord, now they got now they got the biker gang out here, and I'm pretty sure he is the one. Pretty funny how that he shows up hey, when he's you. here because he hey, was the up? one. I'm pretty sure hey, he put a hit out on me and tried to shoot me on the side of the road. Keep, uh, keep an eye on him for me, please. I gotta Unfortunately, those that are on the motorcycles are lawless, and I am very sympathetic to your uh, inconvenience by the motorcycle gang. Once again, I only wish that our pizza could offer you the con, cons, uh, the uh, uh, the, well, to make you feel better. Well, I don't feel better. I don't feel safe right now. Is that one in the blue sweatshirt? I'm pretty sure he put a hit out me with his friends, his hooligan friends over there in a in a biker bar. And I'm pretty sure he—they were the ones that trying to shoot me down 
when I was over there in Polito Bay. May I make a suggestion that wrapping your arms around one of our warm, hot, deep dish Pennsylvania pizzas will offer you security, ma'am. How can we help you? Y'all serve the deep dish here? Yes, ma'am. Only the oh, good. Well, well good thing I didn't get a pizza in it because that's not what I want. She's still bitching. Holy crips. Are you a, a fan of the flatbread pizza? No, it's tomato soup inside of a bread bowl is what it is. Okay, that's disrespectful. That uh, hurts me, but uh, I will accept your criticism. Uh, <laughs> may I suggest that you try uh, our cheese only option? That is, if you are not uh, lactose intolerant, the cheese makes the pizza a little bit more solid. So it's just cheese melted on top of bread is what you're selling me. With our fine sauce, yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Apparently, he's trying to figure out the, what's going on. No, I want—I don't want none of that. Okay. I can understand. We could put some sausage or pepperoni on top of that. Did I mention that it is free-range sausage or uh, free-range pepperoni? I don't want none of that either. My Karen's really going. I understand that, ma'am. I am only sorry that our pizza is not up yeah. to your satisfaction. Well, I guess I just won't be coming here then. Okay, good. We don't want that is very unfortunate to hear, and it uh, hurts my heart that you would uh, think of Malnati's that way. Please understand that we are trying to do everything in our power to uh, make your uh, uh, experience a very satisfactory one. Well, get them organic pineapples that come in from Paparico, and then maybe. Well, I, I I understand that uh, you have a love for pineapples, um, but unfortunately, if they're not grown in Blaine County themselves, we cannot offer them because we cannot vouch for the uh, the uh, free range of the pineapple. All right. I mean, I I just saying I I, I don't yeah. want none of that. I am seriously at a loss here right now. May I offer you to my manager, Jay's Malnati? I mean, I guess. Absolutely, I would be more than happy to get him for you. Where is uh, Jay? What is going on here? Yeah, you might, uh, you know. I'll be talking to that guy. I just want to find another place to eat, I guess. Yeah, because they ain't got no pineapple pe Like I don't want to hear about that. That's a bunch of baloney, if you ask me. I don't know about baloney. What's going on? Yeah, I, I, I don't know what this is going on. He's trying to upsell me all this nonsense and all this stuff, and y'all ain't got even Hawaiian pizza or nothing good, so I don't well, want any of it. Okay, well, you don't have to buy a pizza if you don't want it. No, I'm not going to buy no pizza. I'm over here. I'm talking to the cops trying to get this guy arrested over here because he's been stalking me for two days. Okay. That's it. That's the whole story. So, okay. So what, what, you want to talk to me about what? About him stalking you? Sweetie, I don't want to talk to, to you about nothing. I just want to I just want to talk to the cop and, and make sure this guy gets the justice that I need to see in front of my own eyes. Oh, okay. So, well, my 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 employee told me that you wanted to talk to me. I, all I can say is this is unbelievable. I went all the way to Roxwood, and then there's no pizza there, and that's what they was advertising. And then I come all the way down here, and nobody here because they would done got shot or whatnot. You got shot? What? No, no. We were gonna make you a pizza, but then the guy showed up. Yeah, and then he told me y'all are deep dish. I don't want none of that. It's just tomato soup yeah, inside we, of a bread bowl. Okay, that is that disrespectful that's what i said that's just disrespectful it's a very good you know pizza pie it's a, you got the ingredients on the bottom and the sauce on the top yeah i don't like it oh okay well then you know don't don't eat it i'm not gonna eat it i'm not gonna buy it okay, so that okay like problem solved. yeah problem solved then i guess i am sorry, i never i never Chase. had a problem he came over here and he's trying to upsell me stuff what I thought you said she wanted to talk to me. I asked if she wanted to speak to the owners. She said well, yes. You should, well, I'm, you I'm should never honest. ask a Karen and to talk to the managers. You know. Just... Excuse but me. But you just want to tell me. This one over here behind you, running his mouth. He can leave. Uh, well, okay. Well, well I'm just I mean, on my properties. 
Yeah, I mean, he is an employee. He is. I'm not on your property right now. Do I'm. I remember that says uh, Chase and loose properties. I will slap you in front of this offices. I am. I'm, I'm done talking to y'all then. Do. All right. Okay. Well, I hope you know that guy doesn't cut your face off or whatever's. You see what you see what I deal with over here? I have failed. Um, you just I'm here. I Unbelievable. Right, and it's it's Miss Brunswick. Yes, uh, Kathy yes. Brunswick. Kathy Brunswick. Okay. Miss Brunswick, how are you? I'm Deputy Dink. <sighs> I've been better. I understand. I understand completely. So I spoke with the gentleman. I've heard a little bit about you know what you're saying. I spoke with some individuals inside, and right now I, I don't. I don't have any reason to believe that he's intentionally stalking you, but I do want to avert this whole situation from it happening again to where I think you guys need to separate. And I think we need to go ahead. That's and what they told me yesterday. Order. They told me the same thing the so troopers did. What I'm going to do is since it's continuing to happen is I'm going to process a temporary restraining order and it's going to be valid for 72 hours. Anything Thank God. So, hours, so I don't have to go down to city hall then after 72 hours. So it's only valid for three days. Once these three days are up, and that's if you make contact with him, you're in violation of it. If he makes contact with you, you're in violation, you know, vice versa. So you guys need to stay away from each other. It goes for both parties. Both of you cannot be near each other. But if you want it extended any time past these 72 hours, you're going to have to go down to the courthouse and get it extended, okay? All right. All right, so if you don't mind, let me get your, your license, your ID from you, and I'll go ahead and get that process now, okay? It's over in a U-Haul truck. Can I go get it? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Get out your way here. <laughs> uh, he's not intentionally stalking me or anything. He's just, we're just running into each other. It's hilarious. It's amazing, actually. Here you go. My name is Kathy right. Brunswick. All right. Thank you so much. Go ahead and hang out real quick. I'm going to get this process and then you guys go your separate ways and it's going to be 500 feet. No more than 500 feet from each other. The best thing I can tell Y'all acting like you, I'm the criminal here. I'm the one that's getting I'm, the restraining order on here because all he's doing is following it, me it, around. I get it, but it goes for both parties. If you're intentionally in within that 500 feet of him, he can call the police department and that'll be a violation of you. This restraining order isn't just pertained to you. It's pertained to both of you. So both of you have to stay away from each other, okay? All right. All right. Go ahead and hang tight for Mr. Brunswick. I'll go and get that process for you. <laughs> That's how it works. You know, illegal mumbo jumbo, all that good stuff. No, I understand. I just This has been going on for days. Yeah, we, we understand. It, you know, we, we, we want this uh, situation to be averted as well. So, you know, this is pretty much the... the Best case scenario right now, you know, when after the 72 hours, um, <sighs> hopefully you're moved in by then, and um, you know, you can go ahead and get that restraining order completely done, and then maybe they'll up it. More yeah, what's his name? Because the, the trooper wouldn't tell me his name. Uh, he didn't tell me the name either. It's weird that I'm gonna get a restraining order, I don't even know the guy's name. Well, I'm sure it'll actually be on the order itself. So, um, it just, that's just how it's going to go. All right. But at least, you know, you, you get what you want out of, out of this situation, you know? Yes, but what I've been wanting for the last two days, but I didn't even see him for, a, for at least about a half a day. Because now it's night time. I hadn't seen him since yesterday morning when that whole thing, or what it was yesterday afternoon when that whole thing happened. Okay. Okay. Well, I just got his name. It's uh, Luca Hines. Luca as Hines? In, as in the catch up. H E I N Z. Yep, Z at the end. All right. E or 
record. What's up, y'all on Life Invader? I know y'all been watching this for the last two days. There he is right there. His name's Lucas Luca Hines, like the cat's up. And he's the one that been following me around for the last two days. And here he is right here again. I'm at Malnati's trying to get a pizza. And they ain't got no Hawaiian pizza. And I'm trying to get a pizza down here. And here he is again. Oh, I know, Sugarloaf. It's unbelievable. Sugarloaf likes to watch after my cat sometimes. Excuse me, excuse me, Sugar Love. Yeah, it's it's Sugar Love three four three. I got it wrong. Hey, babe, boo boo. Yeah, it's the same one. It's that hooligan from Blaine County, the Street Racers. Yes. All right, Miss Brunswick. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for being so patient. I got this here. It's going to be that temporary restraining order for 72 hours. I just need your signature stating that you're going to go ahead and put it in effect. And oh, again, absolutely. As soon as I'm done, the last box come off my U-Haul, I'm headed to City Hall to get that, that restraining order on him. Absolutely. I would recommend uh, they might be there tonight to handle cases like this, but uh, I would definitely recommend doing it first thing in the morning. But if you're able to get in tonight, more power to you. Um, but as of right now, I just want to, again, inform you, it goes both ways. You know, you can't go up to him and then call and say that he's broken the restraining order and, you know, this and that. So just you see him, divert him, go your separate way. The best thing to honestly avoid the situation is to avoid each other. But keep in mind, if he does contact or comes around you, give us a call and he'll instantly go to jail, okay? Okay, yeah, I'll be keeping an eye out. All right, go ahead and get your signature here. And this copy is yours. Here you go. Perfect. All right, and I got this here for you. And at this time, I got your ID back as well. You should be there with your paperwork, and you are all set to go, okay? All right. Am I free to go? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, y'all have a good night. You too. Right, Sorry about the trouble, me. but hope you uh, hope you take care and stay safe, okay? All right, take care, Jimbug. <laughs> doesn't serve her Hawaiian pizza because they why can't grow pineapples they can't grow pineapples um ever hear of Kyra Ky Perico <laughs> cancel my <laughs> cancel Malnati's oh my god she can't type neither can I Do zigzags so we can't know where I'm moving to. <laughs> oh man, you can't write it. Let's get our music back on. It's Kathy's jam for moving.
No more taxis. On to the next victim. <laughs> Oh, Kathy just has the blinker on. Oh, it is trunk. I don't know it wasn't working. Prime real estate, baby. Better believe it. Let's go file that restraining order. We have officially moved, Kathy. Hopefully somebody's working at Flywheel so I can return this. That'd be pretty nice. What's up, Carlton? How you doing? I don't think I was followed. I think we're in the uh, clear. I'm going to try to return this to the flywheel's garage.
Look like anybody's working here. Turn the U-Haul. Oh, I'm gonna get the restraining order. Don't you worry about that. Luca Hines. I have not forgotten. Remember how to do it. It's been so long. Is a taxi other for Uber? No oh, ride. Here it comes. Jesus. In the Prius. Where you there. headed, homie? I'm going to. This one right here. All right, let's hit the road. Oh my God, he's running reds. Jeez, I didn't even tell him to go. He's in normal mode. That's scary. I'm going to have to drop you here, man. talk to them. Let's kill the music before they come in here and talk to us. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is the city hall. It's a, it's just a, an uh, MLO that you can download off of GTA Five mods and convert it. Uh, that song's "Bring Back the Feeling" by Daniel Gunnarsson. Lucky Gypsies, think of the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Boy, the, it's taking a while for this. I think you can sit on this couch. Let's see if we can. Will it let us? Nope. Not in there. We'll just patiently wait. Actually, we'll do a sit chair. There we go. Andreas, dispatch, can I help you? Yes, my name is Kathy Brunswick. I'm at 1022 at the City Hall. And I need to file a restraining order. Okay. What's the, uh, is that Algonquin or? Yeah, it's Choya Springs in Algonquin, right there next to the ammunition. Okay. And you'll just be, uh, waiting to speak with an officer uh, in front of City Hall? 
No, they told me I need to come down here and file the restraining order. I'm just making sure that it went through. Um. We're breaking bread right now. Is this in reference to a temporary restraining order on a Mr. Hines? Yes, it is that one, but I am here to put a permanent one down. Okay, I don't have any information on a permanent one. They have a temporary one. They said to come down to City Hall and file a real one. Okay. Well, uh, I would recommend speaking with the staff at uh, City Hall. I don't uh, don't think that's something I can take care of, man. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it's not going to be a temporary one and it's going to be a normal restraining order against the Heinz guy. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the staff there should be more than uh, able to assist you with that. All right. Thank you. Okay, and uh, if you do run into any issues, uh, you can always just give us a call and we can send law enforcement. All right, thank you, Junebug. Of course, take care. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, well, we did everything we could with that. Thank you, Brad. And now we need to ride home. Let's ride again, baby. Ride. We ride. Yeah, I could maybe. In the CAD, send it in. We've never really done restraining order, so I, it's probably why. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like it's the same guy from last time. Oh God, I hope this trooper is ready for this. I don't think they are. It's 918. All right. Okay. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Oh my, already. Oh, Crashed into that. All gas, no brakes. You better believe it. Let's put our seatbelt on for good measure here. Let's get our music going. Cinematic, baby. Enjoy the ride. A mountain. <laughs> oh my God. I'm crying and it burns my eyes. Oh my God. You'd never believe what people do in the back of cabs. Don't worry, I clean it good. Oh my God. That's nuts. That's pretty accurate to a real Uber driver. <laughs> He's still going. He 
just hit the brakes because he don't, doesn't know how to. Oh my God, he made it. Unreal. With $6.86. No wonder it was so cheap. Oh, there's people at my house. I don't like that. locked i don't know how to unlock it <laughs> good lord holy moly dude My property. Oh my <laughs> no, you're not gonna get a cigarette. You're getting out of my off my property. He's leaving. That's what I thought. It's our new house now. Not yours. Don't you come back up here. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care. Oh man. Well, we moved. That's good. Old new place, man. A whole new place. Well, for Wes having to deal with us, I'm going to send you guys over to Wes. Go show him some love and thanks for dealing with us. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Had a blast. We'll do it again real soon. Enjoy your weekend. Love you all. Thanks for everything, and we'll see you.